Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I just needed to let you guys know that the New York Jets need to extend edge rusher Bryce Huff right now. Okay, maybe not this second. I'll give you the bye week, Joe Douglas, because the bye week is next week after the Philadelphia Eagles game. But folks, Bryce Huff is playing like one of the best edge rushers in the entire NFL, and he is a pending free agent after this season. And I'm here to tell you guys why the New York Jets have to make sure they lock up our young stud in Bryce Huff for the long term in season. Now, before we hop into my thoughts, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, guys, your overall perspective of Bryce Huff, what you've been impressed with the most so far in this season with the New York Jets defense. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, guys, if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you're new. With that being said, let's get straight into business. Now, first, I want to start off with the stats. Courtesy of PFF giving us this graphic on Twitter. Here are the edge rushers that have the most pressures in the NFL. And look whose name is with all of the great edge rushers across the league. Bryce Huff is on the same graphic with guys like TJ Watt, Nick Bosa, Chase Young, Micah Parsons, Max Crosby, and Aiden Hutchinson. And dare I tell you guys, remind you, that Bryce Huff has half the snaps out of every single one of these players. Now that tells you all you need to know, that number one, the Jets need to find a way to get Bryce Huff on the field a little more often. I know that they like their 10-man rotation, not going to complain on that end, but the cool thing about Bryce Huff, folks, is he's developing into a guy that's going to be playing more often on first and second downs. Last year, he was more of a third down pass rushing specialist. Now he is blossoming into an every down defensive end for the Jets because of his prowess against the run, which is going to help him get onto the field a little more often. Now, another reason why that the Jets need to extend Bryce Huff, you look at the, the way that this Jets edge rusher position looks. Carl Lawson, healthy scratch against the you know, Denver Broncos. He is a pending free agent. He is going to get off the books. He's not going to get extended. So you can use that $15 million that we've been spending on Carl Lawson in the past few years and put it right into Bryce Huff. You look at Will McDonald and Jermaine Johnson, you can argue that the Jets have three bona fide studs for the future at the edge rush position for the foreseeable future. And if the Jets do not extend Bryce Huff, his price is just going to continue to increase if he hits the open market in the summer. The Jets have prioritized the trenches. They have prioritized in getting after the quarterback. And Joe Douglas, this is your time. We saw what he did two or three years ago when he extended John Franklin Myers in the middle of the season. And that was a smart move at the time. Shout out to John Franklin Myers, by the way. He is having a very good season for the New York Jets. He has 23 total pressures, which is right behind Bryce Huff at 25, by the way. So JFM is doing his thing very quietly, by the way. And Bryce Huff is someone that is just blossoming before our very eyes. He is somebody that is just absolutely growing week by week and I don't know where this defense would be without him because you got him with all the other dogs on that defensive line mixed in with the linebacker duo of CJ Mosey and Quincy Williams and of course his secondary in the back end tightening things up but here man I wanted to make a quick video just remind you guys that the Jets absolutely have to uh, re-sign extend Bryce up right now because if they let him get into the free agency market, his, his price just can increase. Now, if you ask what a contract might look like for Bryce Huff, I'm looking somewhere along the lines of three years, uh, 50 million, three years, 45 million, four years, something along those lines. I give him 12.5 plus million dollars a year because he's ascending. He's an undrafted free agent. Those are the types of guys that Robert Sala really loves the best. Someone that comes on here and has to prove themselves, make the roster, and then fight their way up to be part of this team long term. The Jets have to make sure they extend Bryce Huff, man. Cannot say it more often than not. There's a lot of studs across this defense, right? We extended Quincy Williams this past offseason. Three years, $18 million. That looks like a bargain. So the Jets have to make sure they get ahead of the sticks. Extend that man now. You got the bye week to do it. Let's hope it happens, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's go Jets. Peace out.